let this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Oh. Cruising on that main street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Yeah. Next thing that you know, you see it. <laughs> Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on the sound wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a nap at your intestine, take your second right past Mars. I'm a magic school bus. Navigate a nostril. I'm a magic school bus. Make a plane to Right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get baked into a pie on a magic scuba. Uh, Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, right on the magic scuba. Or not to smell? That is the question. Ew! And this stinks! If I don't find the perfect smell soon, I'll let everyone down. Wait a minute. What's in here? Bingo! A mothball! Perfect! Welcome to Smell Search! where the smell I find here today could become the big stink of tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, perfume, soaps, and deodorants are just a few of the things that sell because they smell. And as everyone knows in this stinky business, when you need a good sniff, call Flora Whip. <laughs> That's me! <laughs> Speaking of smell, Carlos, you smell like mothball. But not your ordinary mothball, Janet. This one's a winner. It's a great smell. The best. The nose does it again. Excuse me, but it's still a mothball. How can you expect something that smells so bad it scares moths away to be the next great smell, huh? Nope. The big stink of tomorrow is right here in this paper bag. Right, guys? Yeah, yeah right, it's Janet. A winner. a winner. Never mind, Janet. Can I smell the mothball again? I still think it's a winner! <gasps> My mothball! Where is it? Careful! Don't anybody step on it! Oops! Sorry, Cuz! Janet, how could you? My own cousin! It was an accident, Arnold! Honest! The rules for smell search are simple. I'm sniffing for a smell that will simply blow me away. <laughs> Remember, when it comes to smell, your nose knows. Let the smells begin! <laughs> Let's go, guys. We've got to come up with a new smell right away. I can't believe Janet totaled my mothball. I can. Huh, me too. Oh, I feel terrible. It's all my fault. Don't worry, Wanda. We'll find another smell. If you want, we could use the one I brought in. Cinnamon. Half the school brought in cinnamon, D.A. Where is it anyway? Hey, I can't find any of the other smelly things we had. That's because I've got them. Smells, get your smells here. Miss Rizzo. I've got a trail of Phoebe's mint, the bouquet of Ralphie's socks, the scent of Wanda's banana, the fume of Tim's rose, the concentrate of DA's cinnamon, the residue of Keisha's rotten eggs, and, thanks to Pong over there, the essence of skunk. Yuck! Are there smells in these bottles? Whoopee! I thought it might be nice to trap the smells we didn't choose. But these bottles are empty. Au contraire, Wanda. There's nothing you can see but take a whiff. The nose knows. Ooh. Can I try? It sure smells like my cinnamon sticks. But 
How did you trap the smell of cinnamon without putting the sticks in there? A scintillating question, D.A. Let's see what we can smell. But we can't see smell, Ms. Frizzle. You can with my brand new Raiderized Sonarized smell visors Help yourselves. Hit us with a smell, Liz. Smell anything familiar? Mmm, I smell mint. Me too. Now slip on those smell visors Look at that. I can see the smell of mint, and it's moving right up our noses. What you're seeing, class, are mint smell molecules. For a really closer look, pop out your smell visor to mega magnifier mode. Whoa! Yeah. Look! This is cool. We can see smell. Smell molecules, you mean. Remember? The whole world is made up of molecules. Tiny building blocks that make things what they are. Even smell? Even smell, Carlos. It's just that without smell visors, the molecules are too small to see. I wonder what cinnamon smell molecules look like. They're a different shape than the mint smell molecules, that's for sure. And the two smells together make a totally different smell. I never smelled anything like it. That's it, Arnold. You solved our problem. I did? When? Just now, when you said you never smelled anything like it. Let's mix smells together to create a brand new smell. We'll give Flora a whiff to remember. Great idea, Carlos. We can mix the smells in here. Hmm, let's see. Let's start with the smell of a mint leaf. And how about the fragrance of my banana? I love bananas. Don't forget the scent of my cinnamon. Let's try it. Hmm, it's still missing something. How about a whiff of my gym socks for seasoning? Wowie! Hey, it's okay. It's better than okay. What do you think, Miss Frizzle? As Grandma Frizzle used to say, a one-of-a-kind, not-to-be-missed blend of aromatic magic. We could be famous. I couldn't have said it better myself. To the Odorotorium. <laughs> oh, Janet is nosing around. <laughs> Perfect. Miss Frizzle, I understand that smells are made up of molecules, but what I want to know is how that makes us smell things. Not now, D.A. There's no time. We have to get back to smell search. Why, Carlos, there's always time to sniff out the answer to a good question. Right, Liz? Does this mean we're going on a field trip, Ms. Frizzle? What a good idea, Arnold. And I think I know just where we're going. Two by two, please. Everyone say, stinky feet. Stinky feet. Hmm, where are they? It's Janet. What's she doing here? Something smells good. Too good. Yuck! A uh, bug! Hey, Cinnamon, mint, skunk. Skunk? What's this? Oh, no! She found her secret smell! Liz, do something! That's right, Liz. Do something. This smells great! Ms. Frizzle, are you sure this is where you want to go? Um, is it just me, or are we inside Janet's nose? They must 
have made a new smile for the contest. Hey, I smell our new smell. What's Janet doing? I don't know. I can't see. Please, Miss Frizzle, get us out of here. Okay, Wanda, I'll try. But it's not going to be easy. Oh, dear. We seem to be <laughs> stuck. Uh, is that stuff what I think it is? It's not. It's not what? Not what, Arnold? Snot! Carlos! Yeah! No way is Carlos going to win this smell search. Miss Frizzle, we've got to stop her! Now what? <laughs> According to my research, snot, or mucus, is a slimy liquid made by the nose that traps dirt and germs and keeps them from entering our lungs. Betty Research, Dorothy Ann. What's this? Roses? <laughs> Goggle time! Hey, what's that? Smell molecules dead ahead! Wow! Those aren't mint or cinnamon smell molecules. They're a different shape. Cool! And they're landing on something. So far as we know, each different kind of smell molecule has its own special landing pad inside the nose, called a receptor. This is too weird. This bottle looks empty, but I still smell roses. It says here that we have thousands of different smell receptors that give us thousands and thousands of different odors to choose from. But how does the brain know what the nose knows? It's like a relay race, Ralphie. First, a smell molecule travels through the air from rose to nose. Then the molecule lands on the rose smell detecting receptor in the nose. The receptor sends a message to the smell center of the brain. And the race is over. And we know what we're smelling. On the nose, Phoebe. Well, I smell a rat named Janet. Hmm, gym socks. Must be Ralphie's. Yep, they're Ralphie's! Bad! Oh, bad, oh, bad! It's just the smell of my socks. What's so terrible? I'll tell you what's so terrible. Janet's ruining our winning smell. Cousin Janet wouldn't do that. Would she? Let's, Let's get, get out, out of here! here. <laughs> Look at this stuff. We've got to clear it off the bus. Who's coming with me? Come on, you Weasley wimps! <sighs> the future of my smell is at stake! In the interest of research, I'll go. You'll need these for wiping away the mucus. Uh, they're too ply for toughness. And these anti-slime suits will keep you phlegm free. Cool! Now it's time to take chances, make mistakes, and get really messy. Yeah, this is truly gross. Reminds me of the slide slide at Five Senses Thrill Park. <laughs> Come on, guys, start wiping. Hmm, I wonder what would happen if I added one of these smells to their really good smell. Like the skunk smell. Wah! Worst smell known to humankind! Smell molecules at 12 o'clock! They're coming our way! Uh, yes! Is that the smell I think it is? Yes. <coughs> They're skunk smell molecules. Oh no! <coughs> what if Janet put skunk smell into our smell? Janet definitely wouldn't do that. If I put the skunk smell into their smell, nah, that wouldn't be very nice. Then again, if I don't, they could win the smell search. What's a person to do? Sorry, guys. <gasps> oh no, we've been skunked. Mayday, mayday. There, that ought to do it. Ooh, I've got to get that skunk smell out of my nose. 
That's better. I can't wait till Flora gets a whiff of this. Next smell, please. Ah, another cinnamon stick, but always a welcome aroma. Oh, yes. Mmm, cinnamon. A tasty spice made from the inner bark of the laurel tree, commonly found in southwestern India. A gracious and civilized scent. And we're three big noses! Don't worry. No competition. We've got the contest in the bag. This bag. Come on, guys. Keep wiping. Over here! There's some mucus under the shrinker skull. I think we got it all off, Miss Frizzle. In that case, hit it, Liz! Phew, that was close. I can't believe Janet put skunk smell in here. <laughs> what? She did. She ruined our smell. With this. It's too late, Carlos. The skunk smell molecules have already mixed with our smell molecules, and there's nothing we can do! Well, as my Uncle Musty once told me, if it doesn't smell good, make sure it doesn't smell bad. How do we do that, Ms. Frizzle? I have an idea! Since smell molecules take time to travel up our nose before they land on the smell receptors, Maybe we can stop the skunk smell molecules from docking in Flora with snows so she can't smell them. Yeah, that way Flora won't smell the skunk at all. She'll only smell the smell we had before. Right. No docking, no skunk smell message to the brain. No message to the brain, no smell. Blocking the docking. Sounds like a plan to me. Yeah, but will it work? Only one way to find out. Right, Liz? Next smell, please. Mm, oh, what an intriguing aroma. Burnt cedar. Mm, the smell of yesterday's fire reminds me of a cold, wintry night in the country. Ooh. I'm glad you like it, Miss Whiff. Like it? I adore it. It's different. It's terrific. <laughs> I give your smell four and a half noses. Way to go, Janet. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Miss Whiff. Don't thank me, dear. You sent the scent. <laughs> oh, oh, I love that one. Next smell, please. Good luck, Carlos. You'll need it to beat four and a half noses. All we need is five. Don't stink up the place, cuz. Don't worry, cuz. We've got it covered. Huh? We're from Ms. Frizzle's class. Okay, guys. She's getting ready to sniff. Well, well, well. Mm, let's smell what you have here. So, Ms. Frizzle said we could zap the skunk smell molecules with this? Cool. It's not exactly zapping, Tim. According to the instructions, it's called laser dissociation of molecules. Whatever. Just remember to blast or dissociate the skunk smell molecules only and let all the other molecules through. Laser number one, ready for action. Laser number two, ready. Okay, we've got to get in and out fast. Do it, Liz. This ought to be good. It's one for the money, two to get well, three to get ready, and four to smell! Happy hunting, guys. Ready for molecular magnification. Smell molecules in range! There! Two skunk smell molecules! Quick, get them! Yes! My. Oh, my, my, my. What an extraordinary combination of aromas. And let's hope Skunk isn't one of them. 
There's one. There's another one! The sun smell molecules are all over the place. Get them before they dock inside her nose! Let's see. Mm, I smell a hint of mint. The bouquet of banana. A pinch of cinnamon. A... a... yes? Yes, I believe it is a used gym sock. It's... it's... Uh, it's what? 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 It's sensational! You really mean that, Ms. Whiff? Mean it? Why, I think it's absolutely smellicious. You could be on to something, young man. I think it was the gym socks. I give it five noses. Five noses? Yes. yes! Let's hear it for the winners of this year's smell search. Those stinky kids of Ms. Frizzle's class. Congratulations. This is impossible. Their smell can't smell that good. Why not, Janet? Uh, well, uh, because... Because... Because smells are made up of molecules, right, Janet? Uh, yeah, if you say so. And when the smell molecules go up our nose, they land on their very own smell receptor. Right, Janet? Um, uh-huh. And the smell receptor sends a message to our brain telling it what the smell is. Right, Janet? Yeah, uh, right. <laughs> So if the smell molecule that goes up our nose is really, really yucky, like, say, skunk, we know right away what it is. Huh, Janet? Skunk? But you already know all about skunk smell, don't you, Janet? Well, a, a, a little. Well, now we all know a little more, don't we, Janet? Cool trophy, huh? Yeah, cool. I guess you guys earned it. So, you want to smell the winning smell? Uh, thanks, Carlos. Maybe later. Well, as I always say, all's well that smells well. <laughs> Is this the magic school bus? Is this the magic school bus? Magic school bus, the producer smelling, I mean speaking. Yeah, right. What I want to know is, how come when I have a cold and my nose is stuffed up, I can't taste my food? Because how food tastes is mostly a matter of smell. When your nose is all stuffed up with mucus, the smell molecules can't reach the smell receptors. It's also why it works to hold your nose when you don't want to taste something nasty. No smell, no taste. Thanks for calling, and get rid of that cold. Magic School Bus. Yeah, hi. I was wondering why some smells like banana and cinnamon in my hamster's cage smell stronger than others, like, say, milk or rice. The answer to that one is a piece of cake. Mmm. You see, some things just give off more smell molecules than other things do. So, the more smell molecules that reach your nose, the stronger the smell. As far as we know, and some kinds of smell molecules trigger a more powerful reaction from the receptors than others. I guess the world of smell is nothing to sniff at. <laughs> you got it. Thanks for the call. Magic school bus. Hey, it's Arnold. How you doing? Arnold? I is it really you? Of course it's me. I've been dying to ask you this question. How come some things have no smell at all, like glass or my rocks? Well, there are two reasons. One is that some things, like glass, don't give off any smell molecules. And the other is that some smell molecules, like the ones that come from water, don't trigger any receptors. Hey, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Liz, what are you doing as if I didn't know? Smells good, huh? 
<laughs> and I guess it tastes good too, though I'll probably never know, huh? Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete, you might get baked into a pie on the magic scuba. Step inside, it's a wilder. 